I didn't realize Nike and Adidas shoes were causing long-term health damage. People in the YouTube comments saying knee pain, joint pain, back pain. I didn't want that to happen to me. And that's when I started wearing barefoot shoes. It's been over three years and this is how they changed my feet, my health, and my life. Now first, why barefoot shoes? This was truly inspired by me wanting to be like the cringy influencer, the liver king. And I can't go barefoot like him in New York City, so I had to get the next best alternative, which was barefoot shoes. And I started to develop what looked like a bunion, and I didn't want to have any kind of knee or lower back pain. Plantar fasciitis, stress fractures, Achilles tendonitis, and I associate that with modern footwear. The image that really stood out to me was how feet should look like this, but modern shoes made your feet look like this. And when my personal trainer first told me, hey, why don't you try my barefoot shoes for working out, I started to dive into the space of what these shoes are. And even Vivo Barefoot posted on their Instagram a shocking fact about foot surgeries in the shoe industry. Things like walking in Vivo Barefoot shoes can increase your foot strength by 60% in six months. Minimalist shoes can prevent bunions and you'll have increased balance and stability by wearing barefoot shoes. This piqued my curiosity and I felt the desire to want to try them out. And even more so that foot weakness is linked to the risk of falling as we age. And longevity is important to me. So I first started wearing barefoot shoes just when I was working out. When I would go to the gym, I'd bring barefoot shoes with me. I would do all my squats, deadlifts, and all kinds of exercises at the gym with only barefoot shoes. I started to notice that my flexibility in my ankles improved. I could really feel the floor with my toes when I was walking around, and everything just felt stronger and more stable. Very similar to a yoga class where you're barefoot in the class, I was kind of building that strength and balance just from weight training at the gym. My toes just felt better because I do have relatively wide feet, and these shoes have even wider toe boxes, so I just felt like a spread out my toes and the most surprising thing was proprioception I could really feel the floor with these shoes like if I walk over a crack like in the concrete or the flooring or the flooring changes I can actually feel the difference in flooring as I'm walking around the gym so for me it started out with building strength in my feet and ankles longevity of my body and just having better connection with the floor and if you do plan to buy barefoot shoes use my link down below it'll give you a discount and help support the channel now after wearing them at the gym for about a year I was ready to explore these into the outside world could I wear barefoot shoes as everyday wear right I was kind of scared initially because they're kind of flimsy they're really bendable and you can feel everything on the floor I was like if there's a nail or glass on the floor is that gonna go inside my shoe and into my foot when it's raining or I'm at a crowded environment are these shoes gonna protect me when someone steps on me or there's water pouring on my so that's when stage two began I started to wear these shoes throughout the day whenever I'm going to work and I wanted to see what it felt like these are the things that I learned when you're walking on concrete it's pretty firm right that's not a natural way to walk so just being mindful I had to take smaller steps or else if I really slammed to the concrete I could feel the effect into my knees and feet it took a long time to strengthen my muscles the muscle around my shin would get sore all the time when I wear barefoot shoes just around everyday wear when I'm walking on gravel near construction I just try to be more careful but you can literally feel everything on the floor I've never had anything puncture through the shoe but I can feel every sensation of all objects on the floor when it came to slippery floors there was still a relatively good grip I felt like I had better grip than most other shoes and when it came to going to like a bar a club or a concert just being mindful because if someone steps on that there's not much protection and it does kind of hurt the thing I did love about it is these are the shoes that I always wear and these ones have like a mesh net on the top and they're pretty flexible so when it comes to hot summer days they're very breathable and it kind of cools but if it is really really cold it's extra breathable so it doesn't protect you as much as a regular shoe they do have special insoles that you can put in here that will help protect you from like snow and winter weather but I just never use them and I did remove the sole I think that gives you more barefoot like feel so that's another thing you can do if you want to take it to the next level but I realized just smoothly transitioning into it. I was able to wear it every day. It did look a little bit different and unique and people are like, what kinds of shoes are those? Your shoes are weird. They laugh at me, but whatever. That's the lifestyle of being the liver king. And that's where it leads into the public opinion. Is it socially acceptable to wear these shoes? It was relatively mixed. Early on, a lot of people thought I was wearing water shoes. I look really weird. And I just had to like be myself, right? Most shoes are created to be fashionable and not functional. And I wanted to be the guy who's function first, fashion second. But as these Vivo Barefoots and other Barefoot shoes have gotten more popular, it's actually kind of cool. If someone sees them, I'll be like, hey, what are those? Vivo Barefoots. It creates this community of, wow, we're like-minded health people. And it's like creates this bond between people that I meet just randomly on the street. There is one big challenge that I had ever since I moved to New York City and I'm not 6'2 or taller, I got really self-conscious about my height. When you look at regular shoes, there is kind of like maybe a one, this is kind of short, but some of them will have a nice foam layer that gives you extra height. But when it comes to barefoot shoes, there's zero drop. There is nothing here. Your foot is at the bottom of the shoe. So I'm losing out on about an inch of height sometimes, maybe even more depending on the shoe. And I started to notice I felt even 
shorter around all of my friends. Right? If I was gonna meet somebody new, I was like, okay, I'm self-conscious about my height because everyone in New York is so much taller for some reason. So that's something to keep in mind. What I did realize is when I do wear regular shoes, because you know, switch back and forth, balance is key. I feel taller. So now that when I wear my regular tennis shoes, I feel a little bit taller than when I'm just wearing my barefoot. So you know, it's a double-edged sword. Like I said, function over fashion is more important to me. And I wanted to know what's the transition period from wearing these shoes that were supposed to be really good for you, right? They've got the cushion, they protect your feet, they have a much thicker kind of shoe surface area and switching to these barefoot shoes that literally feels like you're wrapping your feet in saran wrap. What are the biggest things I learned as I was transitioning through? The first one was take your time. I didn't start wearing only barefoot shoes, but I started at the gym. I did that for a little bit and then I started to expand to maybe wearing it for half the day, every other day, and then every single day. And realizing that when it comes to walking long distances, slowly tapering up, right? You can build each week. Maybe you hit 70% of your steps that week in barefoot shoes and then 80 and 90 and each week you slowly build because you will get sore around your feet, your ankles, and all those muscles are like, whoa, this is a lot of extra sensation that I did not have before, right? And walking on concrete is not natural anymore. So being mindful, I make sure my steps are right, learning how to rewalk with barefoot shoes. And it just took some time. So far, I haven't had any issues and I don't think I have any long-term damage from walking on concrete with barefoot shoes, but I do love the sensation. I just, for some reason, I just enjoy barefoot shoes now more. One thing that did happen to me is my shin muscles would get really sore at the top of my shin. So I'd grab a massage gun and just massage my shin muscle. And especially at night, for some reason, they would just hurt so bad. They were extremely sore. So I started using a massage gun and that kind of helped just to get some blood flow down there and speed up the recovery. So just be mindful that your feet, your calves, your shin muscles are just going to be struggling. It's kind of like an exercise you're doing outside of the gym, but you don't really have to do anything. You're just changing out the shoes that you wear. Now that I share what my experience is like, how the transition period went, these are my favorite shoes that I've really enjoyed. First, Vivo Barefoot. These are high quality shoes. I've been wearing my Vivo Barefoots for like three years and I haven't replaced them. They're still working great. Like these are some of the best quality shoes that I've ever had. Yes, they are expensive for like the little amount of material that you get, but it's just so well created that you could buy these shoes and pretty much wear them for most of your life. Two, these are splay shoes. These are definitely the most comfortable ones. They've kind of got a little bit more cushion. They're not as like onto the floor as the Vivo Barefoots, but they look nice and they look simple and I really like these ones. Three are the feel grounds. These kind of look the coolest. If you're trying to transition from regular shoes and you don't want to stand out as much, feel grounds seem to be the ones in my taste that have kind of this more classic, maybe like a Vans type of look. You do still lose the height, right? Well, you still have that one inch cushion on Vans, but these ones are also really nice. Too. I'll have all these three linked down below. If you use my affiliate link, it helps support the channel. So like making videos. Like and if you want to dive deeper into which shoes to buy, watch my video where I bought 16 different Vivo Barefoot shoes and which one is right for you. Linked right here.